Hi, I'm Maria. In this video I will tell you all about PHP Defender application and also show you how to encode your PHP project using PHP Defender. What happens? Oh, it's our first time run and we have not any license for this copy. If you are using a trial version, you will see here the request license button. Here I am using a licensed version hence it will showing the claim license button. Remember, before clicking this button you must be connected with the internet. After receiving the license from us, just copy the license file into your application installation folder. This is our normal PHP files. First, we will run this project to our local XAMPP server. So copy this all files to the example folder into our XAMPP server. It is our SQL file for our database. Now go to phpMyAdmin. We already created our example database. Now import the SQL file. I'm leaving it because I already created. So now run the application of example folder. Here we are not seeing our CSS effect on our page, because we have used online bootstrap CSS into our style sheet. But we are not connected to the internet, so first we need to connect and refresh the page. The default user is admin and the password is 123456. Now the time to prepare our project for encoding with PHP Defender. So what is the preparation? If we use raw HTML content, JavaScript, CSS content outside of PHP tag into our PHP file, we just add this extra tag on those files. But if we use HTML or JavaScript under PHP echo command, inside a PHP tag then not require this tag. You can use this tag anywhere of a page. Just outside of the PHP tag. No other content so leave it as it is.
On this page, you are seeing JavaScript and a PHP tag echo command so we leave it as it is. Now we delete our all unencrypted file from our local server example folder and copy all encoded files to our local server. Oh, we forgot to copy our key file into our root directory, so it is showing error. Now copy these three files into the root directory. Everything is okay except the logout section, here not showing login name. At first, we copy there. An encrypted user logout PHP file to our local host and test it. Now the time for use are another method, first we convert the user logout PHP file code to pure PHP code.
Oh. Our header section is blank but not seeing any error. Here we learn how to show error for correction. Just copy this file and paste it where your index.php file present. Then refresh the browser. Here showing user logout file not found. Correct it by renaming it. Now we learn how to encode pieces of code into a PHP file. Just copy the code only. Without any PHP tag. Click on here. As per our help and instruction, we need to maintain 444 characters before place the encoded code. and must declare this line of code before running the encoded code. Here we are seeing 481 characters so we need to change it 444 characters. Now it's showing an exact 444 characters.
my code running perfectly. I hope after viewing this tutorial you will not face any problems in time of encoding.